MyText board stretcher software allows users to set up printing options based on their needs and preferences. To demonstrate print options, first, import a job using the Import function in the File menu. Once imported, notice the columns displayed with information that can potentially be print data to be printed on the boards. Next, go to the Tools tab and choose Options. In the Options window, go to the Assembly Profile, select the Assembly Type to set up, and then the basic settings. Next, go to the Custom Print Fields tab in the middle of the dialog. With default selected, the system defaults will be printed, including the job name, assembly, description, and typically the quantity. If you would like anything other than the system defaults to be printed, select Custom. The custom selection allows you to dictate which fields get printed and what characters are included. As an example, Using the job name field, if every job name has a 200 in the front, setting the column to 4 would print starting with the fourth character. Then the length field tells the system how many maximum characters will be printed if they exist, beginning with the fourth character. For this job, only 434C would be printed for the job name. It is essential to understand that what gets printed is determined by what we refer to as white space available on the board. This means it may turn out that not all fields get printed on a small board due to the lack of white space available. Use the drop down on each row to locate and choose which information category is to get printed. Then set the column and length fields accordingly for the information to get printed for that row. To dictate what row is the priority to be printed, select the most important row to be printed and use the arrows to bring that line to the top. Then organize the remaining rows based on their priority. Keep in mind Board Stretcher prioritizes the print sets based on a hierarchy that has AGS Plus as the top priority. So if the assembly guide system known as AGS Plus is licensed and enabled, the plate layouts, alignment marks for webs and cords, as well as plate dimensions will get printed first. And then the program will cycle through these custom print fields until complete or there is no more white space available for print. The Print tab in the Options window allows you to choose the printers to use. If AGS Plus is licensed, the AGS Options section will be available. If without plates is selected, the component alignment marks will get printed on the pieces. With the With Plates option turned on and None is selected, the plate layout and labels will get printed on the front but they will not be printed on the back side unless one of the additional options is chosen. Selecting none for the AGS options will disable the assembly guide system and only use the standard print options. The standard print options include front, edge, and rear printers, which are dependent on the hardware being set up on the saw. In addition, there is an option to print small print only, which saves ink and takes up less space on the board. By default, if rear print is turned on, it will be printed in large print, so setting this to small print only will print small on the rear face. Then there is an option to print on the edge of the boards for trusses. You have the option to justify the print on the leading edge, trailing edge, or in the center of the board. Leading and trailing edge is based on the direction the board goes through the saw. Accept the print option settings once they are set as preferred. Now, to preview the printing with the updated options, clear the job and then re import. Be sure to optimize the job. Once the job is imported and optimized, select the Boards tab and choose Board Graphics. When you select a board, you will be shown a preview of what will get printed on the board and where. Use the View tools to zoom, rotate, and pan to view the print preview. After the preview, if changes are needed, Go back into the print options and make the desired changes. Then be sure to clear the job again, re-import and optimize, and then you can preview the print configuration with the new changes.